The Hawthorne Police Department was under fire because of their treatment of a man by the name of Leon Rosby while they were investigating an armed robbery in Hawthorne. Um, now, Leon Rosby uh, apparently got on the police's nerves, so they decided to respond by arresting him. And while they did that, uh, his Rottweiler jumped out of his car, and then uh, the cops felt threatened by the Rottweiler, and then they decided to shoot the dog to the point where it died. It mm -hmm. suffered on the street for a while and then it died. Mm -hmm. um, now, there was one video uh, when we originally did the story, but as we assumed, now there are more videos. In fact, there's a second video that's been released by a second witness. And we actually want to show that video to you guys because we want to see if that changes anyone else's opinion of what happened that day. And re remember, when we originally discussed it, I was on the side of the cops, largely speaking, saying like he was, he, he was bothering the cops he, he seemed to be trying to goad them on. The dog did jump out of the car and it did look like it was jumping towards the cop. And I could understand why the cop felt threatened. Uh, I was outvoted three to one by the Supreme Court saying the guy, uh, Anna, JR, and Jesus had said that they were excessive. So now let's take a look at it from this vantage point. And again, it is obviously a little graphic as the dog gets shot. Well, just as he's about to lunge at the officer, he gets shot there. They obviously cut it at that point. Uh, now, the vantage point here is you hear the car and you see how close he is to the cops, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. In the other video, it looked like he was a good distance from the cops. Here, yes. you can tell he's right up on them, yeah. right? And you can hear the cops trying to talk to the guys inside the house who are armed and they're shouting directions at, the, at those guys. Meanwhile, you got the, the radio blaring or you know, some sort of music blaring here and you got that guy haranguing them from the other side, et cetera. And that's why I had said, look, I don't know that the cops were right to go and arrest them, right? And to go out of their way to arrest them. On the other hand, was he bothering the cops and purposely doing it to try to get up in their business? Definitely. So he did uh, get arrested for interference with officers. And based on the second video, I think that he's clearly interfering with officers. As Jake mentioned in the first video, you don't see the proximity of uh, Leon Rosby to the police officer. So you feel like what the hell, he's far away. Yes, he's walking back and forth, and it seems like he's trying to monitor what's going on, but is that really interfering with what he's doing? But when you hear him yelling at the police officers that are right there, and they're trying to deal with an armed robbery, yes, that's interfering with police officer officers. Now, do I think that the cops should have shot the dog? No. After watching that video, I see that the dog was not an imminent threat. They could have easily let him go, told him put the dog in back in the car, roll the window up to a point where it can't jump out, and we'll proceed with the arrest. That's the way that yeah. I would have All done right. it. Now remember, that video is cut. Look, the cops uh, released this video. So I understand that too, right? The cops are like, hey, look, there's a different vantage point. It's from their perspective, all right? Now, they, and they also cut the video before the dog gets shot because that's where everybody hates the cops, exactly. right? But what they also cut there, because it was clear from that first, from that second video, which we, sh but we showed in the first video is, the dog definitely jumps up towards the cop. Now you're saying as the dog, as a Rottweiler is jumping up at me, I'm supposed to say, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and retreat 
not worry about the armed robbery, not worry about this guy. Let me go release the guy who was interfering with my investigation in the first place, hope that he gets his dog under control, etc. And then let me be patient with that and then go ahead and handcuff him again, maybe, I hope, etc. That's right. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Jake, then what do you the why, you brought your Rottweiler in the middle of my armed robbery investigation. And so, well, you shouldn't have done that. And every look, the, what people are driving me crazy about is all the dog lovers out there. I love you, and I know that that seems like a part of your family. I didn't want the dog shot, of course not, right? But you, the people going over the top and saying, "Oh, that dog couldn't have done any harm." I know the boa constrictor I had as a pet couldn't do any harm until it strangled the baby. I didn't see that coming. The tiger I had in my backyard hadn't killed anyone until it ripped somebody's face off, right? At Rottweiler, of course it could do damage. You know that. But if you're a dog owner, you always think, no, 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 my dog couldn't ever harm anyone until they rip somebody's face off. If I'm a cop and that Rottweiler is jumping out at me with this crazy guy who brought him, I'm not taking chances. So I, I own a small dog, and I'm actually afraid of big dogs. I'm afraid of Rottweilers, right? But the thing is, you have to look at the video and you have to judge whether or not those police officers were facing an imminent threat. And in that case, I don't think that they were. If the dog was going to attack them immediately, then the dog would have jumped out of the car and immediately jumped up at the cops. But the dog was the dog. walking back and forth, trying to figure out what was going on with its owner. You could have easily handled that situation differently, but and they chose if, not to. No, no, no. Look, even if I would have handled it differently, and I hope I would have because I don't want that dog to die, right? Uh, you're asking too much of them to then judge them in hindsight. As the dog was leaping towards you, you should have been more patient because if you notice, the dog didn't immediately leap at you. Only after you tried to grab its leash, which they did, right? They tried to subdue and grab the leash a couple of times. Then it lunges up at you. Then you should have been more patient and gone through 17 other steps. I'm I not going to hold I them just, accountable for that. I just find it really interesting that when it came to this case, the cops were so quick to use their guns. But when it comes to tasing people, they can't wait to tase people. They can't wait to use their batons. Like, there was no other way for those three police officers to, like, control that dog. They had to immediately resort to a gun. And maybe that is asking too much of the police officers. But you know what? One thing that we do know is that they have absolutely no training with canines. And maybe they should look into that. Mm -hmm. The Hawthorne police don't, and yes, they are looking into it. That is an obvious mistake. All right, I want to see if it changed any minds over there. Jesus, also a biased dog lover, uh, it appears <laughs> uh, what I caught from the corner of my eye that he's got no interest in changing his mind. Oh, not at all. It, it only confirms the guy's even screaming, like, don't kill my dog, like, implying, like, he's not going to be aggressive. I know for you it's easy to say that, oh, he would have bitten. But it, it just sucks that you don't see somebody's perspective who is a dog owner who has experience around dogs and you don't even absorb that that's what's no 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 me. because you guys are biased in the wrong direction you no. think I love my dog my dog no, would never saying, do look, any I harm I've, got a hundred, I've covered a hundred stories where a dog jumps on a woman no. and eats her face so you, to make the assumption that that Rottweiler wouldn't have done damage is crazy look I, I have a personal experience I know this is super goofy right but I'm jogging one day, and they have one of those long leashes that stretch out. It's like those thin wires. And the dog gets all uh, you know, agitated and starts running around me. Okay, whatever. I don't care. So I mean, you would have shot the dog. I shot him, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? No. And, and, the, and the owner says, oh, my dog never does this. And as he's doing this, the, the wire gets tangled around my leg and cuts the living hell out of it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the dog wouldn't have done that, and he wouldn't have done this, and he wouldn't have done that, except dogs sometimes do that because it's a dog. In that case, he didn't mean any harm by it, right? No, but, but, we, but a Rottweiler sometimes does mean harm by it, and when you tell me he wouldn't have done anything, I'm sorry, but bullshit. He wouldn't have done something until he ripped that, you know, the thigh off that guy. he did That's the point. He did it. Dude, he was lunging. You saw the first no, but video. He retreated. Like, it wasn't. Like, I know it's hard to completely explain it, but going back to what Anna said, like, their first line of defense against the dog was a gun. Like, they knew the situation. Why weren't they more vigilant on it? Like, I don't understand that part. They're trying to deal with an armed robbery when this no, ass but they comes decided in. To focus oh, on oh something what are you guys else? doing? What are you guys doing? And he's got the music. No, but they, they also can't, made, and, then he comes, but, and then he unleashes the Rottweiler. No, but they also made. He, he, doesn't, he didn't he unleash the, the Rottweiler. No, he put the Rottweiler in the car. He, he put him in a car with all open windows, and the Rottweiler goes to defend him. And now you got to tell the cop, no, I'm judging you on every single oh. nanosecond of 
of your life, and instead what you no, should have done like, is played patty cakes with a Rottweiler, and then had a conversation with the guy who's a total pain in your ass. Oh, by the way, there's a fucking armed robber in there, right? But they made the conscious decision to go deal with it, and they knew the guy had a Rottweiler on a leash. They knew he put him in a dog with open windows. Why was it? So you're saying get your taser out. I don't no, know what the think, think of something other than a lethal weapon. Like, I don't know. Like it's, that's it's easy to say, man. And, it's also and by easy. the way, I don't know what the training on dogs are. Are you supposed to wait for a dog to get close enough for you to, to tase him? Maybe I guess. I mean, I would prefer because I didn't want the dog to die, right? But again, you're taking some degree of risk. And I'm I'm maybe I would have taken that risk, but I'm not going to put it on them and say you had to take that risk. Otherwise, you should face disciplinary action. All right, Dave Kohler was not part of the original jury, but he is now. Your thoughts? I love getting opportunities to disagree with Jay, but unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Uh, I think there are great points. The cops shouldn't. They're sh they get this mentality, get the gun out, solve all the problems with the gun. The guy was saying to the dog, get back, and the dog seemed responsive. But despite all that, that th was a big dog, threat I thought, threatening the cops. And they're dealing with the human beings first, and maybe they're dealing it with a well in second, and they probably have a little disregard for an animal, and that's their problem. But I pardon them. I, I mean, I don't pardon them, but I think the shooting was somewhat justified. Yeah, and I'm telling you, man, you go back and watch that first video we ran, you know, when the story first broke, and you see, it's not like the little, like, scrounging around that the dog was doing in the beginning. He jumped off, off his feet and clearly towards the cop. You're saying, put the gun down, put the, take out the taser, and do this, and no, no, not guilty. You shouldn't have reached for the gun in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's easy to say when the guy's dealing with the armed robber and the jackass and the Rottweiler, but I, cops have a hard job. We criticize them, I criticize them all the time on this show, but there's gotta be bounds of reason, you gotta let them do their jobs. Paul, are the cops justified in shooting the dog or are they not? You go to theyoungturks.com, you know what? The poll is right there on the homepage. Hello? Young, theyoungturks.com, tytnetwork.com, secretly the same site. All right, you know, you always, you heard all of us, obviously, and our views on it, and we were tied, actually, today. So you tell us what you think uh, police justified or not in shooting the dog. 